Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to install and configure Postman to interact with Tableau APIs. If you are new to APIs, you might be wondering, what is Postman? Well, it's a free tool that lets you test and explore APIs without writing a single line of code. Whether you are handling authentication or querying data, Postman makes it easy to work with Tableau APIs all without writing complex code. So let's get started. Before we jump into using Pulseman with Tableau APIs, let's quickly talk about how you can access Pulseman in the first place. Well, there are two ways. You can use the web version directly from your browser, or you can download and install the desktop app. So I will walk you through both the options. So first of all, you need to go to the postman.com slash download website. And there you can see different options to download. So in this case, I will download Mac Apple chip, and I will simply click on that and it will download it here. So once it's download, we will simply install it. And in my case, I have already installed it and it looks something like this. So now let's go back to the web and here you will see the option to sign in or you can create your account by signing up for free. Well, if you haven't created one, you can sign it up, but otherwise you can sign it in. And once we do that, it will give you the option in the web version to sign into Postman. So here I will quickly sign in. So once you are signed in, the web version will look like this. So here, first of all, what you need to do is create a workspace. So go to workspace and click on create workspace. And there will be option to create a blank workspace and then you click on next. And here you can give the name of the workspace. And in this case, I will give it DataWiz Canvas because that's my site name. And I will say, manage access, I will select only you and invited people. I don't want it to be available for public. But if you want to share it with public, you can click on this one. So I will click create. Once we have created our workspace, it will look something like this. And if you already have some collections available, you can simply import them or you can create a new one simply by going here and you can see a lot of different options like collections, environment, workspace, you can create any of them. So what I will do here, I will click on this and it will ask me to create a collection and I will create a blank collection. And I will give the name here, Tableau API. And once we have created the collection, I can create the request directly or I can create a folders here, which I can say data sources, for example, and I'm trying to show you the way we should set it up so it's easy for us to manage in future. So once we have created the folder, then under that folder, we can create a request. So here, in this case, you can create a request to query data sources. And in here, there are different options. So you can select whichever method you want. So by default, it's get method, but you can use put, post, patch, or whichever. And then once we do that, you can enter the URL here. So you can simply write path, then you can do the command for authentication using sign in. But once you have these parameters or the variables which have the path information, and you simply need to click on send. So that's one way how you can create your collections, your folders and create your request. The other way is by importing the collections, which is already available on the web GitHub repository. So if I go here, I will put the link in the description below. But if you go here, there's already Postman collections available created by Tableau and Salesforce for REST APIs. And all the description on how to use this is this document. And I will share the link of this document in the description below. And also there is a link available for the Salesforce developer where you can see all the list of collections from Salesforce collections to agent API and Tableau APIs. And the one we are interested in, Tableau API. So you can simply open this link, which again, I will put it in description below. 
once you put that link in if you are already signed in into the postman then it will get you there and you can see all of these collections you can create it in your own environment so right now it's the salesforce development environment or workspace then you can go to workspaces and you have your database canvas in this scenario i want all those collections to be in my workspace so how we can do that so i can simply go here and export the entire collection and i will export it and then i can go to my workspace and i can import that file there i can simply click on import and i can drag and drop the file here so that is one way of doing it the other way of doing it is i will again go back to salesforce actions and here what i will do i will click on this tableau api and click on these three dots and i will fork that collection so what do we mean by forking a collection well it means to make a personal copy of someone else's api so which in this case is created by salesforce developer so i will give the name database canvas for this scenario but you can give whatever name you want for the fork and also i want to make sure i have the rest api environment enabled as well so i will select that and you can select this checkbox which says watch original collection so if somebody changed the salesforce developer original collection you will get the notification and you can update that but i don't want it in this case so i will uncheck that and i will click on folk collection once that is done the tableau api collection will come in your workspace and you will see it here in the database canvas workspace i have tableau apis under database canvas collection so this is the one which we created earlier where i showed you the structure so i will delete this one i don't need that and i have our collection created so now once we have our collection created i want to run the query so here by default they have provided us with tableau rest api collection and in the subfolder it is giving the options for authentication flows data sources different queries for project pulls and all that which we will cover in detail in our next sessions but in today's session i am going to tell you how to create the environment on postman which can be used for querying through tableau apis so now we will go to environment and we need to make sure we have our environment set up before we create or run any queries so we will go to environment and we will click on this particular environment so the main purpose of environment is to set the variables instead of typing it every time so here you will see the server so server is the name wherever tableau is hosted either it can be on cloud or it's on our tableau server so let's go to my tableau side so the main thing for configuration what we need is first of all either if you have a tableau server or tableau cloud account with admin privileges and then the secondly for authentication you need pat token or username password but i would highly recommend pat token because it's more secure so once we go to our site we have to go into our admin account and go to account settings and in here you will see personal access token so i have already created one here which i will delete it just to show you how we created uh, how to create a new one so i will give the token name i'll just say api and i will create the token and here the important thing is you have to copy the secret and you have to save it somewhere save so you can reuse it every time and it has an expiry date of one year so today is 30th of april 2025 so it will expire in 2026 but you have to make sure you copy the secret code because it won't appear again anywhere so you have to keep it safe so once we copy the secret code we will go to the environment and you will see here tableau path name so this is the one we created api we will put the values here and admin path secret we will paste it here so you can click on this i and see the actual one so i don't want to save it i will hide it now i want to enter the server name so again let's go back to the site and here in the server name i need the initial bit so 10x till.com i will select that and put it in the variable values 
an API version. So currently I am on Tableau 2025.1. So for that, the version is 3.25. I will select that. And the content URL fits so my site name. So in this data with canvas, so I can either copy it from there. So this is my site name. And I will put it here. So it's the content URL. And also in the site name, I can put the same thing here. So once we do that, click on save. Now I will go back to connections and I will click on Tableau API and you will see here authorization section. Here, there are a lot of authorization types, but for Tableau APIs, I will select API key. And by default, it will give me X Tableau auth as the authentication key name, and the value is API key and add it to header. So by default, it's header. If you want to add it to query parameters, you can do that too, but I will keep it as headers. And if you want more information about this, then check the API documentation, which again, I will send, put the link in the description below. So once we do that, you will see here, we have variables as well, which are already defined because we copied collections from Salesforce development environment. So otherwise you have to manually create it. So these are all the variables value, with values already added into here. So once we have this, we will go to REST API and we can go to authentication. And here there are a lot of different options. So we can sign in as a Tableau user, sign in as a admin pad. So this is the option which we have selected. So we will click on that. Once we click on that, as I mentioned earlier, you will have different methods. So in this case, I will do the post method because I want to sign in. And here you will see the base path, which talks about protocol, server, API, and API version. And then after that, it's authentication and sign in. All we have to do is simply click send option. And when we do that, you will see it's giving an error because it's not able to get the server name. This is happening because we haven't selected the environment. So here, if you see, it says no environment selected. So I will click on that and I will select the REST API environment where I have created the variables and added all the paths. So once I do that, I will click on send. And you will see we have the 200 OK, which means request is successful. And here you can see I am already in the site. And if you don't know how to see the response and stuff, you can go into the consoles and it will give you the details. So initially we had error message here, but now if you see this is our second request where it says that the post request was made on this particular site. And once we went there in the request header, we got all that information. And let's go to the network. You will see the cloud agent because we are trying to access the cloud. And these are all the different values here. And in the response header, we see all this information coming through. So if there are any errors, you can come here and see that, right? And in the response body, you will see we are able to connect to Tableau site and it gives the credential token, which you can see it here as well. And as an estimated time expires is 364 days, 23 hours and 55 seconds. And the content URL is database canvas Tableau site, which is my site name. And that's how we are able to connect to Tableau cloud or Tableau server. And once the connection is made, you can run any queries within this environment. And just to give you an example, if you go to data sources and I want to get all the data sources, right? So I will simply click on query data sources and you will see here, we will already have the base path, site, site ID, and I'm just looking for all the data sources within that site. So if I go back to my site and go to explore and I want to see all the data sources, you will see here, I only have two data sources which is New South Wales Offense by Month and Superstore Data Source. So let's see if I click on this particular data sources, what will I get? And let me close this window. And you will see here in the XML view, we got two data sources. The first one is Superstore Data Source and the second one is New South Wales Office by Month. So that way we can get the information in the XML format. And you can then save the responses if you want, save the response to file or clear the response.
And also on the right hand side, I want to show you this section where variables in the request are used. So once you click on that, it automatically picks up the variable which are being used, like site ID, this is the ID, and you can see the API key and the base path. And you can click on all variables and it will give you all the values. So you can see the server, this is our server, API version, content URL, site ID, site name, and all the information of the variables are all sitting here. And if you want to use a particular variable, for example, in this case, the ID for simple, ID for Superstore data source, I will simply click on that one. And I will right click and set as a variable. And when you type in set as a variable, I can pick up the variable from the list. So I want data source ID. I can go here, click on the data source ID and select it. And you will see here on the right hand side, my data source ID. Let's find it where it is. See data source ID, it is by default now set as a variable. So how easy it is, you can simply click on a particular value and add it into your variable. So that way you can access Postman through web version. And because I am already connected to the workspace on my desktop version, so see when I created it here, it came here by default. And whatever workspaces, collections or environment I have created, they are all in here now. And if I go to this environment, you will see here, it will auto populate in some time. So you can do the same thing here and update the values if they are not there. But because I have used it on the web version, it will automatically save there in some time and sync. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message in the section below and try to install this environment. And in my next tutorial, we will talk about how to use REST API to control Tableau programmatically. Thank you. See you in the next session.